Virgo, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, you guys. Let's get into your reading. Please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you want to get a personal reading, there is a link. Um, hours are shortened now, you guys. Now they're going into the summer. So make sure you book your reading before all the slots are taken. And uh, yeah, put a like and subscribe. I can't remember if I said that, but let's get into this. Palm tree, talking, Cupid's arrow. Wow. Okay. Um, seeing some growth here, Virgo. Um, endurance, flexibility. Maybe you're doing some stretching or um, maybe you're doing some yoga, something along those lines. But um, you know what? This really just feels to me like keep an open mind here, Virgo, with the palm tree um because love's coming absolutely have keep your faith there may be a surprise invitation or meeting someone might be a little bit hesitant but it's okay i feel like you're going to start either talking with someone or there will be more conversing more conversation there's a weighted message arrives for some of you a text a call email okay so let's see what's going on here oh wow ace of wands yeah nice new passionate start happening here some growth again okay there's a new beginning something that's going to definitely have some growth so <laughs> so virgo they just said there's going to be more than one let me just tell you this i mean if you're with someone or even if you're not with someone there's going to be more than one suitor okay cupid's arrows generally the eight of wands in the tarot that's like a ton of messages tons of communication um oh love is coming all right lots of it you, you there may be some conversations you're gonna have with a lot of different people if you are one of those virgos that's on a dating site or um doing something different a lot of attraction um generating a lot of interest in june so there will be some more conversations from all across the board it's kind of what i feel like not just one person but more than one okay and here's the king of swords cold fish i just heard they just told me cold fish what does cold fish mean oh sushi could it be sushi they just said cold fish of this person is somebody comes across who's cold as cold i don't even know if that's a thing ice cold fish i don't even know i guess fish are cold i don't know i never i've never felt a fish to see what his body temperature was like yo you you, you good man hold that fish you warm you need a scarf you need a sweater um so you know this is kind of kind of for some of you uh, well just in general this king of swords can the king of swords can be a bit talkative you know a communicator the swords represent intellect communication that kind of thing um but there's something there's something about this person that comes forward masculine or feminine uh, feminine gemini aquarius libra their energy is kind of cold emotionally okay they also have the king of cups so like i said like sitting under talking where the king of cups is very emotional and and sweet and very people oriented they both are but um one's more deeper emotionally and the other's more intellectually stimulating so to speak but anyway apart from that there's two people here okay remember i said at least one maybe more a lot of communication i see you uh, uh you and or other people or others talking or reaching out to you now here's the thing right you're you're a little bit pushing back because it might be too much it might be a lot of communication for a you know it's like when it rains of course right so this is kind of like yo 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 like you can't answer them all at once it's like you're out there signing autographs virgo what's going on uh, a rush all right everybody that's it one at a time <laughs> Virgo's like one at a time okay let's see 
tell Virgo more. What is going on here? Love is going to hit. Yes, in June. Okay, so you've got the moon. Piscean energy. Oh, we have the East Pentacles. Oh, some of you are going to hear from someone who's going to say to you, I will give you the sun, the moon, and the stars. I will give you everything. Oh, it's so romantic. <laughs> I will give you everything. The sun, the moon, and the stars. I will blow your socks off. <laughs> and uh, that could be taken in a very innocent way or a very non-innocent way, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, now, they could be saying this to you. You could be having a conversation with someone that just... It just might go that way. <clears throat> I, I just feel like you're going to be wowed by, you know, it doesn't feel like one person. It could be a Pisces. It could be a Scorpio. It could be um, another Earth sign. But like I said, everybody's here. Okay. So I will tell you that I feel like you're, you're going to be shocked the way someone comes in or these people come in and they're talking to you like I don't what are you doing Virgo look there's your eight of wands what are you doing that is oh oh you're a little heartbreaker aren't you Virgo you're being a little heartbreaker you're cutting people off you're breaking hearts what's going on in June Um, maybe becoming a little bit unavailable or just kind of like, nope, not interested. It's almost like, I feel like, yeah, like, I don't know if that, that's not really an energy of a player, but even the five of swords can't, like, I do feel like maybe a little bit because the five of swords is kind of like, the way I like to look at the five of swords is like, Five of Swords, this this person here is look at all the swords they have, right? They're they're just like they've they've won the battle. And they're smug about it. <laughs> I don't know if you, that's not a typical Virgo trait, but maybe something's changing with you, right? Because look, this 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 person holds the three swords. So I feel like you're being a little bit of a heartbreaker. So what does that mean? Like, I mean you're just not attached you're not attaching to anybody you're rejecting which i feel like is yeah making people a little bit sad <laughs> virgo i mean hey you know everybody gets rejected right maybe your heart's a little broken or you're feeling a little sad maybe you're recuperating from something and you're not trying to get into anything just yet that could be happening in June but that's making others be more interested in you yep and for some of you it's just something to do with the rejection you're rejecting someone or others okay maybe you're holding out for a real twin or soulmate kind of connection here this is what I feel like is going on but it doesn't feel like you're giving anybody really a chance, but either way, that is actually making one or two people pretty much chase you. So fine. If you're not ready, you know, then you're not ready. And when you are, you are, right? Some of you just are in this like, sorry, I really don't want to date. I just want to be single and free which makes you even more attractive to another, okay? King of Wands now. So you have the King of Swords, the King of Cups, the King of Wands. And there will be a King of Wands showing up that really has their eye on you. And I feel like you're gonna hear from them. There may be a message or communication, may even be an apology. So you might know them. Um, but the King of Wands does come in with some kind of message like that they're single and they're free. Ooh, 
they may just be moving to your area. They might have traveled and are just moving to your area. So I kind of feel like June, it looks to me like you are being maybe very picky or selective, or you're just making a decision that you don't want to get into a relationship or you don't want to date just yet because maybe you're grieving or you're going through like a grief period or you're trying to figure out, you know, or just to take some time for yourself. That's kind of what I feel like is going on here with you. And I feel like if that's where you're at with things, then that's where you're at and that's where you need to be. But it doesn't change the fact that somebody else or these other people who are showing interest in you, it, you know, whatever the reason, it doesn't matter because you're telling somebody no or other people no. And it, I feel like, so if you're a female feminine who's interested in the masculines, the masculines are going to compete. They want to compete. They want to fight to get your attention. So you're going to find that happening in June. And if you're a masculine who's dealing with the female, I, I kind of feel like the female is going to, she's not going to fight, but I, or the feminine, I feel like she is going to be curious though. And she is going, going to be a bit more, try to be more communicative, you know, to keep your attention, you know? So, hmm. Yeah, but I feel like there's a King of Swords. So let's take a quick look at these these people here, okay? Let's just take a quick look. So if you're involved with any one of these signs at this moment, um, I'll just give you a little bit of rundown with each of them. If you're not, and they're just coming in. All right, let's just take a quick look. All right, show Virgo the energy of the King of Cups. I don't usually do this, but I just felt called to do it. Show Virgo the energy, the King of Cups, King of Swords, huh. King of Wands. Okay, well, the King of Cups is going to come forward very positive, happy, joyous, playful, that kind of energy. The King of Swords is going to come through towards you with, for some of you might already know this King of Swords. It could be a reunion with them. Um, but they come through very um, flirty, wanting to get together, go out and do something, go on some dates, that kind of thing. The King of Cups might want to, I don't know, frolic in the, the fields, the field of daisies or something. <laughs> It's kind of a water sign thing to do. Just be dancing all over the place, you know, and happy. Um, and the king of wands uh, is looking for a goddess or a king or an emperor or an empress. Yeah. Okay. Um, and it's going to view you as like top shelf. Seriously, top shelf. Or does if you already knew them. Yeah. Okay. So... Let's just get a couple clarifying cards. Okay. Yeah, the King of Wands does not, like, nobody else compares to you. Nothing compares to you. Nobody compares to you. You are top shelf, top notch. Yes, you're it. They don't want anybody else. They're not going to want anybody else. No one will compare. Okay. They're, they'll be very apathetic to others when it comes to you. The King of Cups, yeah, just wants to have peace and playfulness. And just relax and under the sun, on the beach or somewhere. It's very peaceful with the King of Cups. It's very re emotionally relaxing. Okay. Um, King of Swords is kind of party girl, party boy. Air signs are generally massive socialites, partiers. You know, they, get, they like to get out there and, and they like to be around people and do things and have a lot of people they're very social okay so i mean i'm not trying to tell you this so that you can pick and choose who you like better it's just the energy that i was picking up the way they're coming in so this this is pretty much like a multi-level reading here because you but the overall message though virgo is june is a month of your 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 socks are going to be knocked off you're going to be twirling your toes at all the attention there's going to be a tremendous amount of attention from suitors look at that the four of wands yes uh oh my gosh the king i mean the knight oh my gosh yeah okay 
some of you, this could be somebody that you, if you know one or all of them, there's someone from your hometown or from your past, okay? There's a proposal for sure coming in. If you don't know them, there is just definitely sincerity, kindness, um, an invite to a wedding or to uh, a family event of some sort. But there's definite, listen, June, June, you're kicking off the summer with love. Kicking off the summer in love, for sure. I think you had yesterday, you had a wish was coming true. So awesome. If you, if you heard that reading and you didn't go over and get the extended, go over to back to that reading and click the link in the description box. So you can find out what that wish was. It's going to be coming true. But yeah, this is what I feel like is happening here. Okay. A little bit more to the story, but you are, you're going to have suitors and I feel like June, I mean, you might go out with a couple or one, but I feel like June is more going to be you being picky or you just kind of being like, nah, I don't know why. I, like I said, you had the five of cups, so there might be some kind of grief or maybe you're getting over a breakup or going through something in June where you just not, they're just going to come out of the woodwork because that's how, that's how it works. You know, when you're not looking, that's when, that's when people show up. Okay, what are your love messages? You have spiritual lesson, and you also have denial. Okay, S denial. Like I said, some of you are going to deny one, two, or three of these suitors. You know, but whoever, whichever one you deny, right? You put up some boundaries. Whichever one you deny is the one that's going to chase you the most and come in with that Knight of Cups. Um, if you... I'll deny all three they're all going to be after you so you know i don't know what you're looking for <laughs> i don't know what you're trying to do here but okay interference an external party intruding on a relationship now hold the phone all right virgo some of you are already involved with somebody you already have someone right now as i'm doing this reading some of you already have a special person and while you have that special person here comes all these other suitors. That might be, for some of you, why you're denying some of them. Okay? Or, I don't know what's going on. I don't know why. If you're going to, if you're with someone, you could have someone special in your life and not be with them. And you might open yourself up to one of these people. You know, like you might not actually be together. Maybe you're on a break or something. But you might... You're, you're definitely going to deny first, but I don't know. I just feel like you're going to have a whole big mix-up of... This is like a damn general hospital happening right here on my table. <laughs> Soap Opera City. Sure. Binging a Netflix uh, show here. Let me see. Some of you might deny someone because they have another relationship. You might find that out. Okay. Financial challenges are affecting this connection. How the hell is that even? Oh, okay. Hmm. Now that makes sense. Um, <clears throat> uh, now I'm just going to put this out here, you know, and, and don't knock anybody because people do this. Some of you are just looking for a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. <laughs> You want to marry somebody that's got money because you're you're broke and you're you're being selective and you're going to be picky, and you're going to deny some people. Now there's girls out there that do this. There's women who are they're self-employed, they're go-getters, they do that, and then there's women out there who are not, or they've fallen on hard times. And nothing wrong with someone wanting to come and help you out, and marry you, and want to be there for you, right? It's not it's not a crime, um, and the same for the men. There are some there are some guys who are go-getters, ambitious, they make all the money, they're wealthy, and then there's some that are just, nah, I just need a sugar mama. <laughs> I'll be like a boy toy or something. I just need someone. <laughs> sure, I'll marry you if you're going to like pay for my video games and my gym membership and, you know, all my clothes. <laughs> well, there's a soulmate for showing up for sure. Okay. So, you know, I, I, like this, when these readings, and I say this all the time, I don't know how long you've been on my channel, but whenever we get a whole bunch of people showing up, things get a little bit convoluted. The bottom line though, 
the bottom line though is you're going to have a ton of suitors and people coming in chasing after you in june interested romantic interests one two or three okay and and you're going to be very selective and picky and the more that you're selective and picky with your boundaries and just like even if you go on a date with one of these people, um, I just don't see you like l jumping across the table, jumping somebody's bones and being like, you're mine forever. On the, no, you're going to be like, I might see you again. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to look at my schedule. I feel like, I feel like that's going to be your energy, you know, because I don't know. You're vetting. You're sussing people out perhaps in June. That's what it seems like to me. You're, you're doing a little sussy sass little bit of sussy sass okay um spirit just said get some of these cosmic insight reading messages here okay i don't know if these can have anything to do with the reading but we'll see okay Ooh. earth sign taurus virgo capricorn showing up here so yeah pretty much all the signs are here health health issues could arise okay pay attention to your health in june Okay, some of you are moving, having a change of resonance, or moving in with your partner in June. Hmm. All right. Oh, shit. You've got a water sign, and you have an air sign showing up. I'm telling you, earth sign, water sign, air sign. The only thing that was out was the fire sign. There's also a divorce experience in a breakup. Like I said, some of you might be picky. You know, there's a couple of different storylines. Some of you just might be picky with someone because you're going through a breakup and you're not ready to date. And it's not your fault that people are chasing after you. But like I said, the more you deny, the more there's generating interest. Okay. Now your advice here. Open your heart. It will help you attract more love. Virgo's like, I ain't opening my heart and look what happened. <laughs> It's like you're 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 pushing back. Jeez, can you imagine if you open those floodgates, Virgo? Okay. You know, I'm not always like a fan of that message. Open your heart and it will attract more love. I mean I mean I guess but when your heart's open up like that, you can attract assholes too. So I, I'm kind of more of a fan of guard your heart and then when you find or meet someone that you feel safe with, then you can slowly open your heart. Um, I'm not, I, I don't prescribe to the idea of like walk around with your fucking heart open all the time because I think that that's like, you might as well just like walk around with a wound in your brain and bleed to death. Like it's stupid. So mm, this card is shit. Okay, let's see. All right. And you also have give it time garbage give it time everything in divine timing let things flow oh gold digger now i ain't saying you gold digger but she ain't broke messing with no broke broke um okay well you know what we already talked about that so you know if that's you and you don't want to speak up and you just want to keep that on the hush hush down low go ahead do your thing and their little taboo stuck with that you know but whatever you do what you need to do. You do you, boo. You do you, Virgo. Okay. And you also have let go. Make room for the new beginning. It's on its way to you now. It's like a shit ton of new beginnings coming in. Oh, there's intimacy. Sexual chemistry. Okay. June sounds like an exciting month. What do you think? What do you guys think? Let me know. Are you ready for June? Is this what you want? Is this what you want to do? Are you just... Virgo, do you just, do you want to just be your queen bee, right, for June? Is that enough for you, just to feel wanted and needed and just to feel attractive to someone or others? I mean, that's always nice. Vacation, you will be traveling soon, okay? Some of you got a vacation in June. And date night, be ready to be wined and dined, Okay. I mean, if that's what you want, right? Of course, that's what you want. If you don't want that, then, you know, that's fine. 
some Virgos are just like, nah, I just want the attention. I just want the compliments. That's enough for me. Some of you just need that ego boost. You're not ready to get into a relationship, but you just want an ego boost. You're not ready to start dating. Just the ego boost. It, listen, whatever works for you. Everybody needs a little something, something sometimes. Okay. So let's get your Chinese signs. And I'm just going to look at you because Lord knows this will be too much more confusing. Okay. So year of the monkey year of the dragon year of the ox year of the pig year of the rabbit year of the horse year of the rat and the year of the goat so that could be you um or it might not be it's fine if it's not just take it as it resonates it's just more of a qualifier okay so yeah virgo like I said, I just feel like it just feels to me like you don't have to do anything special in June. The energy is just going to play out. When it rains, it pours. When you have a dry spell, that's when it, you know, here comes the rain. It can't stay dry forever. It can't it can't rain forever. Wasn't that from the crow? I forget the the phrase. It can't does anybody know? Can somebody tell me? It can't rain all the time. I think that's what it was. All right. I love that soundtrack. That is a soundtrack. The Crow. All right. Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh, yes. Yes, you got a balloon. So seriously, you're going to be flying high up in the sky. Enjoy it. I feel like some of you are going to get like a really big head. <laughs> or your ego or your self-esteem boost is going to be through the roof now maybe you're just going to go on a balloon ride that might be part of a, a a thing that you're doing if you're going on a vacation or you're going somewhere with family or you're doing something with kids or something um balloon ride if you ha if you don't have that planned maybe look into that um going on a balloon ride looks like fun okay now you got like the jesus fish um you know what Now, some of you might be Christian. You might, either you have this on your car or like, cause I always see these on people's cars, bumpers on their bumpers. You either, either have that on your car or um, you see that over this month or like a lot, you see it a lot. But some of you are gonna be wearing a ribbon for someone maybe for cancer or some kind of disease or maybe you do wear a ribbon for someone but you know i saw something and now i'm not seeing it someone told me this was this jesus the, the fish was a very um feminine symbol i guess hmm Oh, okay. So they're just, well, maybe it's not, but this is what they're telling me. Uh, embrace your feminine side. Em embrace your femininity is what I want to say. In June, make sure you do that. Don't just be all masculine. You have to have that nice balance of masculine and feminine. That's attractive. Um, if you're full on masculine, where you're not embracing your feminine side you might be a little bit too rough around the edges um so yeah embrace your feminine side that's what i'm hearing and you also have love what's love got to do got to do with it what's love but a second hand emotion that might be your, your that's why you're attracting people here virgo you're like what's love get out of here with this love shit yeah i'm telling you but there's something that's i don't know maybe you're are you spraying yourself with pheromones what the hell are you doing you might actually be doing something i mean i know like the energy i was saying the energy for some of you yes but for others you might be doing something that's attracting people and part of it is just denying people for sure okay you know, I generally don't think I'm a good singer, but I kind of like the way that one turned out. <laughs> I got to say it. I'm going to toot my horn a little bit here. Okay, so now you have a hammer, 
All right, so somebody might be working with a hammer. Or, um, I am so not singing that MC Hammer song. Like, no, let me just revel in my glory of one song actually stayed in tune. Um, you can sing this. All right, so you might be working with a hammer or doing something with a hammer. Ew, okay, there's a dolphin here again. A dolphin and... Do you know what's weird? I had two pigeons in my garden today. And I was like, are they pigeons or turtle doves? Is that the same thing? I had two, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> two turtle doves in my garden. And I was like, what the? What's going on? I got to look that up. But that just reminded me. So I don't know what turtle doves are, what they really mean, what they represent. If you know, feel free to leave a comment or you can leave it in the chat here while it's live. But I know this is a bird, but this feels like that. Something your other half is looking for you, Virgo. <laughs> that's what it is. Maybe that's what it is. And you you have a dolphin. Oh, okay. Somebody's Somebody's going to see the dolphins or you live somewhere where there's dolphins. Someone's going to see the dolphins. Oh, it could be a football team. It could be actual dolphins. Or someone lives in a town like Dolphin, USA. Is that even a thing? That just came to me. Dolphin. Something to do with a dolphin. And you also have, last but not least, a starfish. So there are some sea vibes going on here. Something to do with the sea. Okay. Definitely the sea. Maybe you're going to pick up a starfish. You find some starfish and then there's dolphins and it's like everything's coming together at once in my life and I love it. This is great. <laughs> All right. I did it backwards. That's all right. So Leo, Libra showing up here. Leo and a Libra and a double Gemini. Look at that. Oh, and it switched over to a Pisces, and then it switched over to Aquarius. Okay, that's fine. So we've got, let's take a look at these numbers. Someone is age 50. Someone is 30. Someone is 61. Someone is 41. Okay, someone is 56. Someone is 33. Someone is 46. Someone, okay, we got 1990, or someone here is 90. And if you're 90, listen to my readings. I just want to give you a big shout out and say, you are awesome. <laughs> September 4th seems significant to me. Somebody's birthday is September 4th, and September 18th, and September 21st, also September 8th, and look, August 31st, yet again. Also, Halloween. Picking up a Halloween vibe here. Somebody's birthday is in November. Okay, and someone's birthday, yes, is in October. Um, some of you are putting a, making a bid, or you're bidding, bidding, like on, uh, not bidding, B-I-D, B-I-D-D-I-N-G, bidding, bidding on something. Um, 1970, somebody's birth year. And yeah, did I say September 4th? I think I did, because now it's calling me. Um, okay. Um, somebody calls someone a kid, like, hey, kid, what's up, kid? Uh, somebody is sowing their seeds right now. And I, I don't, I don't mean that, like, I mean, I don't mean that figuratively. I mean, like, planting seeds or doing something. And, um, yeah, Spirit just said, make sure you get the, um, KY jelly. You need that KY jelly. I don't know what that means. Um, somebody's feeling really dizzy right now. So if you're dizzy, maybe go sit down or just relax or get some water. Okay. Uh, somebody's name is Jeb, J-E-B. Uh, somebody's eating peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh, God, that sounds amazing. I haven't had one of those, like, forever. Someone is sorry. And someone says, like, they text it out. They write, saw we. And a text like, saw we. S-O-W-W-Y, I just heard. Not sorry. Sawy. Like it's cute. It's kind of cute. Um, somebody drinks pibs 
root beer, pibs. And um, I'm, someone's going in a biplane. Did I ever tell you, when I was a kid, I used to call the biplane, I made it all one word, so I called it a bip plane. And I like did that forever, a bip plane, <laughs> biplane. Um, and then also if someone's starting a new business, congratulations. And yeah, so I will give you some initials, K, the letter D, the letter P, the letter Y, the letter S, the letter W, the letter O. We have a J, E, Z, B, and a an, uh, letter I. Okay, so that's going to be your reading. I hope that you guys enjoyed that. Um, tomorrow, I will be back with your Wednesday evening reading. And then I'm going to start doing the extendeds on Mondays and Wednesdays. So if you're interested in getting those extendeds, if, if I feel the need to do them, then those are the days I'll do them. And then Thursday will be your weekend reading. So definitely keep your eyes peeled for that. Thank you for being in the chat. And um, if you are new to my channel and you've just become a member, I want to say thank you and welcome. I will give you a shout out tomorrow in tomorrow's reading. Yep. So make sure you're here so you can hear your name called. And uh, thanks to the mods. I love you guys and everyone in the chat. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my readings. If you'd like to get a personal reading, please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Uh, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.